Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Men's Essentials channel. Thanks again for stopping by. Um, today I uh, want to talk about my watch collection. I have six watches. I think all men should have various watches for different uh, situations in life. And I'm going to be showing you my watch collection. Um, and I'll give you some more information about each one and when I wear each watch. Um, please like and subscribe and leave some comments guys if you um, I want to hear what you guys think about these watches if you like them or even if you don't like them let me know what you don't like about them specifically or if you have any other recommendations for me for my collection let me know um, what you think so yeah let's get into this guys thanks for stopping by again and actually one more thing that I forgot to mention guys is that on all of these watches that I'll be going over today I have individual videos on each one of these on my um, channel page. So if you want to hear more detail about any of these watches, go to my uh, channel page and look through the videos and you'll find um, a video for each one of these um, with more information um, and longer detail on them. So go check those out, guys. Um, I also have other videos on stuff that uh, I think men should use, like sunglasses, uh, well, it's just stuff like that And the first watch I want to mention guys is my Tissot Seastar 1000 Powermatic 80 I have the all-black version and I do want to mention I have a, a Video review on this watch alone. It's the first video on my channel. So if you guys want to see that um, navigate through my videos on my page and you can see that it's the very first um, video on my channel um, but yeah I'm mentioning this one because it is my favorite watch in my collection um, it is the most expensive one too but that's not why it's my favorite um, I just love this watch because it really is just the most beautiful one in my opinion on in my collection it's the only automatic watch I like or that I have I'm sorry so the the back is uh, see-through or transparent so you can see um, the movement in the back and I just think that's really cool obviously it's a beautiful watch too it's hefty it's strong it just feels like a good quality watch and to so obviously did a great job with this watch um, uh, but yeah that's my favorite one and this uh, this watch guys I wear it pretty much every day to be honest with you I'll wear it um, if I'm dressing up to go somewhere like with a suit I will wear it also on the weekends with shorts and a t-shirt I wear it a lot I wear it every day pretty much um, the only time I won't wear this watch is to work out just because I don't want to get sweat in it or if I'm doing some yard work outside I won't wear this one I do take care of it in that sense but but other than that I'll wear it all the time so um, again, if you want to hear more information about this watch, go check out the first video on my channel and it will be regarding this watch. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good all-around watch for dates, church, uh, concerts, whatever. Um, minus working out or, your, or working outside and something. I wouldn't wear it for that, but other than that, guys, I love this watch. It's my favorite one. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And I guess I should also mention it is a dive watch. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, if I ever get rid of this one, it would be because I bought a Rolex Yacht Master, specifically the black and gold rose version. That's my grail watch. So, um, if I ever replace this one, it would be for that watch. But I don't even know if I would get rid of this one if I ever got that Rolex. Uh, Yacht Master Rose Gold version. So, uh, yeah. So on to the next watch, guys. My next uh, watch I want to mention in my collection is a Timex Weekender Chronograph. Um, so this watch, guys, is probably the next watch that I wear the most in my collection. This one I will normally wear um, for business casual settings, like when I go to work i'll wear this one to work a lot or if i'm going to church uh just something that i can wear with a nice dress shirt and slacks and nice shoes but i don't i won't wear this with a suit but if i'm going to work where it's a business casual setting 
I will wear this watch and um, in my in, and I actually use that on the weekends too like the name of the watch implies it is a great weekend or watch um, it is 40 millimeters and I got the one that has a blue face and a leather strap um, but yeah this one goes great with any outfits guys that are casual um, but not sporty so any polo shirts and khaki colored shorts or pants and maybe boots I would say this watch is highly recommended for that it is a chronograph so if you're interested in using it as a chronograph you know that's great for you that would work um, I've never used that that used it that way so um, but that's just a plus um, but I really really like this watch um, I think the silver a casing around it is just just beautiful that silver color gives it a classy touch but not too fancy um, uh, but yeah this is the second watch that I wear the most in my collection um, I love it too guys I get compliments on this watch a lot too actually people will, will point out and say that they like it um, and it's a really cheap watch to be honest with you um, compared to the Tissot Sea Star I just showed I got that C Star on sale for about $495, but right now I think it's retailing for se around $750. And this weekend or chronograph from Timex, I got about uh, about $40. But I was looking at the website where they're actually sold out, and the last price on it was $57, which I think that means that they're the demand for these watches is going up. Um, just because it's a great watch and a cheap alternative, guys. So if you're looking for something cheap that you can wear for business casual settings, I highly recommend this watch. The next watch I want to mention, guys, is another Tissot. This time it's a Tissot Heritage Visodate. I really um, like this watch. This is the first Swiss watch I ever bought. Um, I have the quartz version i just like the face on this one a little more than the automatic one but the autom automatic one is also a great um great looking watch if that's what you're interested in um but yeah this one uh, i got the the one with a black leather strap which gives it some some classy uh, a cool classy look and this one is a straight dress watch so this one i'll only wear with certain business casual outfits maybe if they're a little more dressy or if i'm wearing a suit just anytime i need to wear a suit i'll wear this watch and uh, match it up to whatever i'm wearing um again this watch is one of my favorite details on this watch is the writing uh the text of viso date right above the six uh i think that's just a really really uh cool text i wish i knew what the font uh type is because i think it's beautiful um uh, but yeah, not much to say about this one. One drawback on this one I do want to say is the face is super shiny. Um, so if that's something that's going to bother you, you might not like it. Uh, and I was trying to check and see what the face was made out of. Um, it looks like it's sapphire crystal and, and it's scratch resistant. So it could be that that's where the shine comes in on this one. But it's a beautiful watch. Honestly, it might be might be the most beautiful one i i own that i that i like in terms of aesthetics i think it's the best looking watch i have now to so it's a to so again guys so you know it's going to be a dependable quality watch um it's 40 millimeters so it will look good on your wrist it's a masculine watch which is which is what i'm going for with a dress watch i don't want anything that's too feminine or anything um but yeah i would definitely recommend this watch guys i'm gonna i don't think i'll ever trade this one in either i'll keep it forever and wear it any time uh that i that i need to dress up so yeah let's move on to the next one so guys the next watch in my collection is the red casio f108 whc um this one is similar to the f uh, 91w but the face is a bit bigger and this watch guys is the one that i think i've worn the most out of all my watches because i wear this one every day when i'm in, when i'm working out or on a run or you know i work out almost every day so i wear it a lot um 
you'll be able to see some wear and tear on it just because I use it a lot. And, and again, this is a great watch for when I'm working out, working in the yard, doing anything physical. I've gotten sweat on it. I go swimming with it. I've just used it like, you know, it's really tough. So that's one great thing about this watch, which is why I love it. Um, yeah, it's I've gone swimming. It worked just fine. I've gotten it drenched in sweat and it works just fine afterwards too. I use the start stop uh, timer on it um, to measure how long I'm running, you know, just for various things like that. But this watch is amazing. Casio obviously makes quality watches. Um, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a watch uh, that's going to be durable and strong, you know, when you're doing outdoor stuff that could get the watch wet or anything so uh, i think they do make different colors probably blue and white I, I think are the other options i've seen but i went for the red one just because of the cool retro feel you know i just i think it's a cool looking red watch so um i highly recommend this one guys okay guys and the next watch in my collection is the mrw 200 h 1 bv by casio this is another um all black watch and it's interesting because i saw this labeled as a dive watch somewhere and it looks like one but it also looks like a pilot watch to me in my opinion and that's why i bought this one um in fact there is a This Casio watch is actually used by some pilots on the um, WB-57 airplane that NASA um, actually uses. And I think it's for high altitude um, flying. I'm gonna try to add some pictures of the pilots um, wearing this watch, but I just thought that was really cool um you know to see them wearing it because guys this is a really sturdy and strong watch it's a tough watch um this is some a watch that i wear if i'm gonna go camping or working outside too in sweaty wet conditions <laughs> um but it, yeah it's a water resistant uh the back is stainless steel um and it's pretty accurate too so um my favorite part about this watch is the face like i said again it looks like a, a, a pilot watch to me um but it's cheap i think i got it for like 16 or 17 uh dollars at walmart um which is a great deal so if you guys are some of you guys are looking for a watch that is going to last you a long time and it's going to be sturdy and strong this is definitely one you want to look at Again, I use this one mostly for if I'm working outside. I don't work out with this one as much. Um, but if I'm going to go camping or going like hiking or something, this is a watch I'll take with me. Um, but yeah, I think it's a cool looking watch for a cheap price and it's tough. And the last watch I want to mention, guys, is the Casio G-Shock dw 5600 nasa 21 now this is the only true collectible watch in my collection um i don't think that i'll actually wear this watch that often i'll probably just keep it safe um as, as a collectible guys because this watch honestly it's, it's just beautiful um, I love anything having to do with space. So when I saw that this one uh, came out, I, I had to have it. So I went ahead and bought one. Um, but like I said, I'm probably not going to wear this one as much. Um, but, for, you know, this watch is just so cool, in my opinion. It's got the NASA logo at the top. Um, and it's a G-Shock. So, you know, it's going to be a strong watch if you wore it a lot. You know, it's obviously going to be a watch that's going to be sturdy. Um, but it's really an homage watch to NASA and uh, the STS-1 mission um, with the OV-102 space shuttle. So it, they tried hard to make it look like the space shuttle colors, that black and white. And in my opinion, they did a great job. Um, now, this is the only G-Shock that I own, and it is a collectible. So like I said, I'm not going to wear it that often if I ever do. So I'll probably end up buying another G-Shock to wear 
and when I do that, I'll make a video and <laughs> show you guys. But um, if you guys are looking for a good collectible watch, I'd recommend this one. Um, just because I think it, it does a good job of paying homage to um, some space history. And it's just really cool looking. It's a G-Shock. Um, I have a, again, I have a video on this one too. Uh, on my page. Go check that out, guys. If you want to hear more information about this watch specifically. But um, I guess that's another thing I want to mention. Is I think men, you know, it'd be, I think every guy should have at least one collectible watch that maybe you wear once in a while or you know just just keep it as a collectible um so i don't know let me know what you guys think um but that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to give a quick review of the watches that i own and i would really love to hear what watches you guys like in this collection what you don't like i want to hear about your collections and let me know what you have and any recommendations you have that i could add to my collection would be great um so yeah thanks again guys for stopping by men's essentials channel please like and subscribe i will see you next time